back here at Premier Fitness with Mr. Roy. And can you tell me a little bit about what brought you here? What brought, what's your journey? Because you were telling me you're a competitor. Right. So you're a bodybuilder. You've done a bunch of different things in the industry. Yes. So, so I, I started working in the fitness industry about nine years ago. Okay. And then I grew up playing every civil type of sport. Yeah. I uh, started going to actual gyms when I was 13 years old. So okay. Wrestled throughout high school. Got out of high school, kind of did the CrossFit route. Uh, I did yeah. had a few amateur MMA fights as well, and I just kind of I also got my degree in exercise physiology from LSU. So I've always kind of been very deep into the industry. I've nice. always been very passionate about fitness, everything that kind of goes along with that. So when yeah. I was 19 in college, I started working the front desk at a gym. Okay. Worked my way up. Uh, the gym that I was fighting out of, Gladiators Academy in Baton Rouge, I actually was the manager of for a few years. So that mm-hmm. was kind of my first taste of gym management. Yeah. From there, I moved over to GNC. Okay. And I, I moved down here. So I'm, I'm from River Ridge, but I grew up in Baton Rouge. Where, uh, which GNC did you work at? So I've worked, so I started in the mall, Louisiana, in Baton Rouge. Okay. Uh, I worked at Cortana Mall. I was the assistant manager off of Old Hammond. Yeah. The first store that I fully managed was off of Segan. And then when I moved down here, I had the privilege of actually managing four different locations to where uh, my main location was the Mid-City GNC. I love it. And then I was also managing the Canal Street location, which is now closed, but then also the Riverwalk location and then the one in Chalmette. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of took a br- So that was right around the time that I actually graduated as well. So when I graduated, got my degree in exercise physiology. I kind of wanted to take a step back from the fitness industry since, again, I, I'd done it my whole life. Everything I'd known involved fitness, yeah. and holistic health, and so I just wanted to see if I wanted to do anything else. Yeah. Most. So I was a financial advisor at Whitney Investments for about six months on the oh, North really? Shore. And you're like, this it, isn't it for me. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get out of this. Months, I was like, I need to do anything else besides this. Holy cow, man. Uh, so I was ended up, I see we used to have some gold gym locations in the West Bank. So I was doing sales over there. Okay. We were informed that the gold gym location was going to shut down. Yeah. And within that week, I had actually applied to get my master's at LSU to get a master's in exercise physiology. Mm-hmm. I'd also been offered a job working at the LA Fitness and Slidell St. Charles Athletic Club, which is now closed, and then Premier Fitness, which this was the gym I actually worked out at. Okay. And uh, I just kind of took the opportunity because I'd been around here for about a year, and I was like, I, I, or I know the staff, yeah. I know the type of gym it is, and it's ideally the gym that I wanted to own one day was a big house gym that kind of just accepts every type of people that we have different type of workout equipment for any style yeah all ages all levels of fitness expertise and so i'm just i've loved it here i've been here for five years now and what's the 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 rooms you got i see there's a room over here where's uh that one right there is that like a yoga room or a yoga facility okay we have three separate rooms for uh our group exercise classes which are included in the membership we do have a basic mind and body room that we use for vinyasa yoga warrior yoga yeah recovery and mat pilates we have a large exercise room that's a lot of Les Mills classes, like your body yeah. pump, your CX works. We have some freestyle hit classes as well, and then we have our own spin room, which is about 30 spin bikes. So we Dude, offer all oh my those. Gosh. Kind yeah, of there. that's amazing, man. And it's cool that this place exists, just because of you know with COVID and everything, people are finding that they kind of they're gravitating towards these gyms that have a very inclusive view of fitness toward everybody, right? right. You know, it's like you were talking about it, like older people. Younger people blending it all together and that kind of thing. So, do you guys get a lot of like competitors in this gym? Is it kind of one of those? It just doesn't. Yeah. So we doesn't we attract matter. all different types. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I myself was a NPC competitor. We've had a nice. few IFBB pros come in and out. Yeah. We've had a few NFL players come and go. We've Hell had a few, yeah. you know, little little bit of this and that. So we have again we we have 13 year olds that have never worked out a day in their life. Yeah. We have 90 year olds that have worked out forever. We have pro athletes. We just kind of I, I and. I want to be the gym for everybody, like everyone it's, that, no matter it certainly what you do, seems I want to like have it. enough equipment for you and kind yeah. of just satiate all those needs. That's amazing. And you've been here how long? For doing five years. It? For five years. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow, yeah, and man. so this is, this is where I'm, where I'm staying. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm not going anywhere. The, uh, the owner, whenever that day may come, uh, have been in talks about me purchasing the gym myself. And no so that's, way, I'm, man. I'm okay. the long run. That's awesome, dude, man. And then I'll ask you kind of your own personal fitness experience and everything and fitness advice. Right. I ask all my guests this, right, as far as starting fitness goes, because I know a lot of people probably don't know where to begin when they begin on any sort of journey. You obviously have a crap ton of experience with that. But what would you say to anybody trying to maybe lose weight, build muscle? What's the first step they take besides 
like going to right, a gym, besides you know, showing up, besides actually, actually showing up. Yeah. The initiative step. Yeah. The first thing I honestly try to tell everybody is do something or find something that you're going to do that you're going to enjoy. So it's, I, I agree. I, that's I, good. I, there's a little saying I hear, uh, what's the best diet? The best diet is one that you're going to follow. And that's true though, because it, it's, it's nowadays, you know, any kind of fitness plan you take on, it's adaptability. It's not about, right. it's not about reinventing something that you thought you did wrong it's it's taking the things you enjoy doing because a lot of times that's going to be what sets you up for success like you yeah, just said easy. you know so and shoot i was talking to people about doing i think doing an mpc show if you want to like reinvigorate your fitness lifestyle i think right. people should do it you know it's it's one of those things where i, I think it's it's one of those sports where I at least try it yeah to see like see what it's like to really to, really diet hard to give to yourself like to, to give fitness yourself for yeah. you know 8 12 20 weeks and it's again i have a background where i, I wrestled in high school so yeah. I, I was used to the restrictive dieting the restrictive lifestyle i came out of high school and started an, a short mma career so i was it, it's always something i was done so when i transitioned to bodybuilding it was it was an easy transition it's all i ever knew <laughs> it's all i ever knew but yeah for people just starting out it's like what do you what do you want to do but what are you willing to do as well and it brings you, I mean, shoot, you get back into the gym, you know exactly what you're doing. Once you do a show, it's kind of like you, your whole outlook on the fitness way you do fitness, right, is changed. You right. kind of, you understand what you're doing. You understand what's happening. You know, you understand what your body needs at that point. And then it takes practice and everything. So, yeah, I had a guy who he forgot there was a night show. So he said he started eating. Yeah, he did, dude. He was like, literally, he I've came back and he goes, and he goes, dude, I started eating brownies. I didn't know there was a night show. And you could tell. He had a little, yeah, no, little pooch there. Little bit, yeah, yeah, washed happens. over a little bit. And I was like, I was like, damn, man. And he looked good. That was the, that was the problem. It was like, he was really good. You know, he had the body for it. So it was just one of those little little mistakes that you make, and I it was happens. like, "We all learn." Oh, I know, I know, but it was so funny. It was like, "Damn, bro, I'm so sorry, <laughs> man. Oh my gosh." So, well, that's amazing, man. And you work out here as well, as well yeah, as you. Yeah. So, uh, okay. generally, right now, I'm I'm in maintenance. I guess. I got I'm, you. I don't really, I'm boring. Get off yeah, my podcast. I'm in boring. Like I just, <laughs> it's all good. I'm just, I'm working out just to almost like fall back in love with the training. Okay. Just because I've had such structured training for so long, so I'm here 8 a.m. Uh, most days of the week. Yeah. I'll do mostly hypertrophy training. What uh, do you just, do? What's your split right now? Yeah. So I do. It's a push pull leg split. To where no, every nobody does that, man. You know, That's so the way to it's go. Like I'll right do push there. pull legs, take a break, yeah. and then each week I'll try to do one of those body parts twice. Yes. So I'll throw in like true. an arm day. I'll throw in a. I, I've been doing some more functional training. Like I've, I just started boxing again for the first time in about yeah. seven, eight years. So I, I want to do things I enjoy. Yeah. For for fitness and for cardio and just for overall health. But I'm a push pull leg split. I'm here probably four or five days a week. I'm hitting the weights. I love it, man. And that's kind of it's kind of what people, I, I like the push pull legs idea. I know a lot of people do. It, is, it doesn't matter, you know. If you're starting with hypertrophy, you can Again, sit there and do whatever. What are you more likely to yeah. actually come in every day and give your all doing? Is yeah. what you should be doing. Yeah, we started. Uh, I'm trying. We're tr I'm trying to do a show with um, a buddy of mine, and we're we're doing like the Arnold split, which is kind of funny. You don't right. you don't think about like nowadays Arnold's Arnold. Like yeah. his name is synonymous with action movies, with bodybuilding. Everybody knows who it is, but it's funny because. I've never spent time learning his actual training style. I never really understood that part of his life. But when you look at it, it it's it's basically a push pull. But it's right. a very different, like smart split, focused on multiple body parts during the week. And it's brutal, man. It's pretty long. Oh yeah, no, it's a so hard thing. They had a, a lot longer workouts than I see nowadays. Yeah. But they were also doing less cardio than a lot of people do nowadays. He no cardio on his plan right man. so it's, no cardio if you're pushing yourself that hard for that long in the gym you're burning the calories that you would during cardio. you don't you don't necessarily need it for what they were doing did you do cardio when you were prepping uh, I've, I've done i've done zero cardio and mm -hmm. i've also done two hours a day on zero carbs what works best for you <sighs> honestly like the, a the two hours a day for, sounds awful that was so for nationals in 2017 the last couple weeks zero carbs two hours of cardio a day and it was a it was a mental thing every day it wasn't anything else I could have got past that rather than just mentally pushing past it. Yeah. My sweet spot's a good 20, 30 minutes and not, I don't, I'll do hit and I, I enjoy doing it, but a steady state for me, I'll get on elliptical, I'll get on a spin bike, 20, 30 minutes, wow, 80% man. and I'm call it a day. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah that, that's and the that's way still to go. kind of what I implement now. I just do 15, 20 minutes, just again, more, more so for cardiovascular health rather than trying to lose weight or get in shape. But I, I enjoy being cardiovascularly efficient. So I'll just do 15, 20 minutes, 
yeah. three, four times a week. And then, like I said, I'll do something like boxing or I'll go hit up a, a free mat and do a jiu-jitsu class just to kind of move my body. I want to be, the older I'm getting, I want to be more functional. You're I'm, not that old, man. How old are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm 28. Uh, I'm, I'm 27. Not, I've been, the hell? I'm doing this for, <laughs> my body feels a lot older. My body, I, I did a, a strongman show last year. Yeah. That really kind of brought it all well, like, wow, all these injuries are finally catching up to me. Oh, dude, it was funny. My shoulder's been hurting, and I feel like an old fart now. And, and I know I sound like, an, like a wimp, too. I'm like, oh, my oh, my shoulder, it just hurts so much. My God, you know. But, uh, no, I get what you're saying, dude. Yeah. It's like around that age, this after 25. Like the last two years, It's because I've been able to, like, train through injuries, do this and that and the other. Yeah. It's like nothing in just these last two years, man. And like a brick freaking wall. <laughs> like just, no, it no, all you feel, you feel You feel so terrible, too. You're like, you're like, well, I guess that's my career. Like, <laughs> I guess I'm over. I guess I'm done yeah. with life. Yeah. So, but no, yeah, to your point, I, I like the idea of focusing so heavily on the hypertrophy training aspect and kind of dialing back the cardio a little bit. Because I know everybody does the fasted cardio and sounds, I, I sounds like a hell. I have a in my house for that, and I don't think I've been on it in the last, like, <laughs> you I, I eat a burger the, walking lockdown, past yeah. it yeah you're like eh it's there yeah it's there if I need it it's like it's like a loaded gun I, hope, I hopefully never have to use it but it's there if I need it it's true man